Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, September 13th, 2021. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. This is our manifestation, law of divine compensation, law of attraction, absolutely relentlessly optimistic reading. So, this is where we begin from this moment, leaving all behind us, starting fresh from here. This is the place where we manifest from, is this very second, and continuing forward. The past has already been lived. We don't need to relent that or re relive it or be in a place of, of beating a dead horse, so to speak. So, in the interest of moving forward with brand new prosperity, abundance, love, light, and healing, Let's begin. Don't forget, you can always have uh, a private reading with me. If you visit royalmystic.com, you can schedule your appointment, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. So, here we go. In the interest of moving forward, this is both of these cards are speaking of that. The Three of Wands is the energy of the things that you've completed that have let you step forward into this new third thing here. It's about expansion. It's about things that you have brought to their fullest potential that you have, that you can bring them to, and it is now time to step forward. So, Three of Wands is about moving forward in the progress that we have already laid the foundation for. Then we have the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is about releasing what no longer serves you, whether that be giving two weeks notice once you step into your your new energy here. I never recommend quitting a job before you have the next thing already operational, but uh, sometimes it can't be avoided. This is the energy of letting go of however that goes down and moving forward. So it can be packing and moving if you plan on changing locations. It just means stepping into your future and not taking with you what is a burden or no longer functions. Sometimes it's letting go of wrong thinking, old habits, old people, things that don't need to be part of your future. So, Seven of Swords and the Three of Rods, in case I didn't say it. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, the Hierophant, <laughs> divine spirit, Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light <laughs> for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, all the cards have shown up and present and accounted for. I want to quickly uh, talk about the Hierophant that showed up in the cut card energy. That is uh, about an employer or a being accepted into an organization, uh, which very much resonates with that seven of swords so if it is a new job a calling uh, and you're welcome into that well then you're most certainly going to be moving forward so it can be uh anything that oh, getting the hiccups that's a good sign anything that you've made an application to okay is, is being brought to you so i'm going to put them face down so that when i address them we can just talk about it. you know what it doesn't even matter i'll let you I'll let you have a gander. It's, it, we already know what the energy is, so that's awesome. We have the Death card, the Sun card, and the Eight of Cups, which showed up all by their little selves. They jumped right on out there. And the King of Cups. The beautiful energy about the King of Cups is the energy of authentic, heartfelt, wanting your best, highest good. Okay? So this is... And remember... The difference between the kings and the queens is the queen is the sowing of the seed. The king is it showing up full in full regalia with all of its, you know, f bearing fruit. It's come back to you bearing fruit. This is where it's fully activated. Now, we have courage. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. This is important. 
This is where you get to the doorway and that feeling of fear hits you and you go, what if they say no? you got to know either way. So moving forward, don't you think I've had that fear when I was going to leave a regular job that I had been at for, you know, not that particular place, but I had been working in that field for almost 30 years. And I got the call to do this from Divine. And so I had to really pull it up from the bootstraps and force myself into a, a completely different situation that I had never experienced before. But in my heart, I knew it was the right thing. So if I've, if, if the fear would have won, you wouldn't be seeing me right now. I'd be at a desk job. So here we go. Let's see what else we have. Empowerment. I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. Empowerment is an individual energy. I can't make you feel empowered. You have to choose something about me or something that I say to you or something that I use to give you an example of what I did. You can use my inspiration to make you feel empowered, but I physically cannot make you be empowered. I can tell you from here to St. Swithin's Day, how great you are and how magnificent of a human being and spiritual energy you are. But unless you believe it and take ownership of it, you can't be effective at it. That's as simple as it is, my darlings. There has to be a place where you overcome the fear and claim what you want. Communicate clearly. This is important. The things that you say out of your mouth, if they're completely opposite of what you're trying to achieve, if they're all the reasons why it's not going to be possible, or all the reasons why you're not the right person, you're confirming the opposite of what you're trying to do. You must speak as though it has already happened. To it, even if it's your, just your inner voice, that's the most important one. What you're telling yourself is more important than any other voice out there. So pay attention what you're saying to yourself, what you're agreeing with within yourself. Synergy. <laughs> the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance to the not so obvious, never seen before, combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creation can give birth to a new reality. Just because you've never seen it before or just because no one else has ever seen it before doesn't mean it's not possible. It means it's going to be awesome because you're about to do something no one else has done. Not in the way you're going to do it. Line up and get in agreement with that. Just because you, did, you have no knowledge or anyone else has no knowledge <laughs> doesn't mean it's not possible. It just means no one else has dialed into the energy the same way you're about to. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. It is that simple. You take control and command of what the thoughts are that you're running in the background. If it is not productive and conducive to your wishes, you do not have to repeat that thought ever again. You can silence anything that is not part of what you're growing forward with. You just have to be aware of the background noise and understand what outside energies are affecting you. That's the awareness that comes in. My thoughts are creative. They are. They are living things. Because you are the one living it. 
I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. Remember, past um, old traumas, things like that, can scar you and can give you a uh, apprehension or a trigger but you're the one who gets to say the final approval of that being part of it right so don't be afraid to counter well there you go to counter anything that's not that makes you feel nervous or afraid or apprehensive immediately seek out what triggered that because you can remove it like a weed from the garden when we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. And you saw that card jump out while I was explaining this very thing. <laughs> so this is the affirmation. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. All my relationships are harmonious. Being in a place of harmony with yourself, especially, because how are you going to move forward if the, it's like having a, a, a two-ended uh, llama? You both can't lead. It's got to be the, the, the one you choose to lead has to be the positive way forward. Here we go. Scorpio Major Arcana, the death card. Perfect card to come out here. As it is the Scorpio Major Arcana, it is also uh, what I call the, gar the Cosmic Garbage Man. This is the energy of coming in, making a clean sweep, allowing you to let go of anything that it needs to be purged. It will be incinerated and a fresh new clean slate be given so you can have a brand new beginning. That's what the wonderful energy of this card is. It is the moment of preparation to go forward because it clears out what's been holding you back. The Sun card, the happiest card in tarot. I'm not kidding. That is what this card is. It is the ultimate culmination of all the things that you have been working toward. It means the opportunity of a lifetime. It means being in the place of rebirth and renewal and complete success, achieving all things coming to fruition. It is a blessing from divine. This is where the universe gets behind you and says, let's take this all the way to the finish line and let's make it even better than you thought possible. And you go, well, but I don't even know where to start. You're about to. This Eight of Cups is, looks like a runway, doesn't it? It's a perfect imagery. This is a yes from the universe that all the things that you have done and accomplished and learned and become experienced with are now lined up in a way that guides you forward. And this is a yes from the universe to move forward. It's like a graduation energy. So the King of Cups, the Death card, the Sun card, and the Eight of Cups, synergy, being empowered, communication with divine and being in a place where you are harmonious within yourself will allow you to move forward. This king of cups is the energy of the authentic, true energy within yourself or within people around you to assist you in moving forward. So this is a great Monday. <laughs> Many blessings to you, my darlings. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.